Now let's talk about how to create this table dynamically so that you don't have to enter in your information as a static table in case your product names change in the future or there are additional products. So to get us started, I'm first going to delete the, call, the table we already used for our manual entry to give us a clean state, slate. Unfortunately, this is going to be a slightly longer process that's going to require two separate tables, one for the actual order, one for the blank order, and one combining them. Let's get started. First, let's go into our home and click on transform data to open up our editor. And again, very similar to our ordering method, I'm going to create a reference table, group by, and this time we're grouping by product, summing the sales, And now we have this table. I'm going to close this. I'll open it up here so we can see it. And I forgot to rename this. So I'll just rename it here. Product unique. Now, before we start adding in the orders, we want to add in those blank lines to go in between. Unfortunately, there's no capability on Power BI to simply add rows. So we're going to add a complete new table into our model. And this table is going to be referencing the product unique. So let's rename this product blanks. And I'm going to do a select columns, which is going to enable me to choose columns from our product unique. So let's do that. And I'm going to use the same naming convention. So I'm just going to say product and grab both of those columns that we had. And we had some sales. Now, before I click enter, I also want to create a slight modification to this. As you recall, when we did it manually, we want to add a slight differentiator. So I'm just going to do product name blank and the sum sales minus one. All right, and now we have this information. We're gonna unionize both of these tables. So I'll go back to home, add one more table. This is going to be product order. Union. Great, and now we'll add the column for the ordering. Ensure that your order is of your product is using this column. So let's go to column tools, sort by column order. And there's one more thing to check, which is the relationship. As expected, since this was manually added, there's no automatic relationship connecting to our financials. So let's quickly add that. Great, and now we have a relationship pointing towards our actual data, which is exactly what we want. I'm gonna go back to our dashboard. And now we can add in our product from product order. Okay, I'm gonna drill down. And of course, I wanna only do Canada and US. And I think our setting has already been set to show items with no data, but if it's off, I'm sure that that is on. And also just double check for your computer what the default order is. Mine is by product country, which is exactly what we want. Okay, and again, this time we're also going to remove this one blank.
And since my white squares were created earlier, it's already set in the right places. And there you have it. Now you have a way of creating a custom clustered and stacked column chart in a dynamic way so that if you do refresh your data and there are more products, it will all show up. The only modification you'll have to make is these white boxes. In case there are more products, you'll have to move them around. I hope this helped and let me know if you have any questions.